Icelandic Meteorological Office uh, has released the latest update. The magma accumulation continues. At the surface, what we are seeing is practically uh, some fumaroles and steam due to the rain and the heat rising, evaporating the water, rainwater. And uh, although this is all along the fracture that we know, in this area we have all the stations for the GPS data, which shows the uh, uh, vertical, lateral, north and north, south, and east, west uh, direction movements of the ground. And you can see all the stations in the extreme right, you can see shows that the magma accumulation, the uplift of the ground, has surpassed the previous uh, time that uh, we had the eruption in that area. So we are expecting the eruption. Although the magma at this stage, we can see in this interferometrogram, is spreading sideways toward the north and west. So practically it doesn't stay in that one place. So the likelihood of eruption is really decreasing. Although we had some outlays of the magma due to the uh, error, due to the sun solar activity, the risk assessment stays the same. It will be buried on to the, up to the 29th of the July. And this is the summary of this, uh, so magma accumulation continues. I have made a video previous to this. I have given more data and analyzed it via from a ge ge geologist perspective. You can watch that. I've just put it at the end of this. Um, IMO uh, update was very brief as it, it was all that I said. And what I have covered is more than that. Watch that, please, also. Last time we had an eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland in the volcanic system of the Swartzengi. It was in April, something like this. And this was uh, after a while that we had several multiple land rise and fall, the latest of which shows a land rise equal to around 40 centimeter. If we calculate the area involved in this and multiply it by this uh, change in the height, we come to the figure of 120 megatons, million tons of magma accumulated under the uh, Swartzengi. Of course, the GPS data and these diagrams shows that this magma doesn't stay there. It practically comes up and like a blob spreads out. The latest uh, uh, interferometer shows that interferometrogram shows that actually uh, we have a spread of the magma which was accumulated before that you saw it in the earlier ones i showed you is now spreading toward the west and north mostly and the arrows i've drawn shows that movement so it comes up and then it spreads there are a lot of cracks around this area the earthquakes and all the things created these fractures and then the land gradually rises and falls when this is spread happening right and if i want to show it in a you know a time lapse mode this is what you will see and we are seeing them also all on the gps data although we had out layers like this one uh, rectangle blue rectangle around 5th of july 5th to 7th of july that is what we are seeing uh, it, it was originally we thought is an error. You can see all the stations it can be real. This can again show some of these rises and falls. At the moment, this is what we are seeing. Any moment we may have an eruption. It's a long-weighted eruption since the April. We are waiting for this. It may happen, but it takes a long time because every time the magma is getting more viscous and the fractures filled up, it's getting more difficult for the magma to erupt.